A cycle of banknote redesign is generally aimed at achieving specific objectives, including, but not limited to, improving security of banknotes, mitigating counterfeiting, preserving the collective national heritage, controlling currency in circulation, and reducing the overall cost of currency management. As is known, our local laws, specifically the Central Bank of Nigeria Act of 2007, grants the Central Bank of Nigeria the power to issue and redesign the Naira. It is on this basis that I gave my approval for the redesign of the 200 Naira, 500 Naira, and 1,000 Naira banknotes. While this may not be apparent to many Nigerians, only four out of the 54 African countries print their currencies in their countries, and Nigeria is one. A policy of redesign and reissue of currency is not targeted at anyone. But of course, we have the laws, and we will indeed be more uh, intense in ensuring that the provisions of the law and the CBN regulations about the size and volume of currencies that people can hold or can carry or can withdraw, that we would insist that this is um, um, done going forward. And I think Nigeria and the Central Bank of Nigeria is prepared at this time to move towards a cashless economy. And that is the reason why, following the, reissue, following the redesign and issuance of this note, we will go forward to insisting that cashless will be nationwide. We will restrict the volume of cash that people will withdraw over the counter. We, if you need to draw large, large volumes of cash, you will fill uncountable forms. We will take your data, whether it's your BVN, your NIN, so that security agencies like EFCC or, or enforcement agencies like EFCC and ICPC can follow you and be sure that you are taking that money for good purpose. Yes, uh, it's the last lap of Morning Delight Talk Time and you've heard a governor uh, of CBN that's the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefiele, giving us the reasons for the new Naira notes and also stating why or how you would have to um, withdraw large sums of money and monies. And now we're going to be discussing Naira redesign and the value of the currency. We've already spoken about inflation. I will still be touching on that. And of course, uh, we have a guest uh, um, who's going to be joining us on, over the phone to discuss Naira redesign and value of the currency in person of Mr. Austin Adigwe. He's a financial expert and a banker. Good morning, uh, Mr. Adigwe. Good morning, morning, Light. Yeah, good morning. All right, so what exactly is the importance of the Naira redesign? Because we've there's a lot of backlash online uh, uh, castigating the government for doing, in their own terms, the wrong thing right now, that it's not important. What's your take on that? And what exactly is the value or the importance of the Naira redesign? Okay, so uh, the monetization is just one of the tools uh, available to monitor authorities okay. for currency management. So uh, CBN is within the statutory responsibilities or mandate to redesign to redesign Naira, okay? Uh, the Naira. Advice. It is on this. Uh, you will also agree with me that if you leave your currency for, for too long without altering the security features or the basic features, it will give room to counterfeiting. Because over time, people will be, be able to perfect, you know, the act of uh, counterfeiting the currency. And again, you know, the center of every crime and criminality is cash. Mm. So it is, it is a very good way of fighting black money. Every system does that. Once you discover that there is so much uh, money from uh, illegitimate activities outside the banking system, okay, this becomes...
become the last option to demonetize either your withdrawing completely or your resigning and bringing it back to the system. Okay, so now the, there's the question of what the benefit of this redesign is for the value of the currency. How, how is it going to better position Nigeria's uh, economy with this uh, new Naira redesign? How, how does it position Nigeria's economy? Okay, so um, the action of CBN to redesign Naira uh, will not have any direct impact on the inflationary pressure that is um, being experienced in the country as that to be. Because like I told you, when you change your currency in any form, you are simply trying to fight black money, fight counterfeiting, mm -hmm. okay, but it doesn't necessarily impact on the uh, the uh, economy by way of reducing other prices, which of course means appreciation of the, the currency value. It doesn't. However, I had expected, and that was the argument we put out initially, that this could have been achieved without any cost to the government in, in a better form, which means demonetize the higher currency, take off 1,000, just face it, take off 1,000, take off 500, then much later, you could take out 200, or at least 200. If you take out this higher denomination, you would have punctured the heart of crime and criminality. Hmm. You can see what is going on now. I, I, I heard about the news that the kidnappers are already asking for the new notes. So the real essence is defeated. So it doesn't have any direct impact on inflation. However, if you take out the higher denominations, Okay, that will largely improve the banking culture of the people. Consequently, monetary policy becomes more effective when you have more Nigerians, okay, mm -hmm. that route their transactions through the bank. Because, of course, the payment system has improved. The CPOS uh, operates everywhere, every look and cranny. So, yes. nobody can really, uh, he or she is not enjoying one form of financial services or the other. But as long as the higher denominations are still retained in the system, then the whole effort would have been defeated. Hmm. All right, so now... Speaking about fa um, phasing out these huge numbers, um, the higher denomination, you said that it's going to improve um, how Nigerians use the Naira. Can you break that down for us to better understand? Okay, so in the heart of development, in the heart of development, economic development, uh, our financial services. Okay, so if you encourage people to have this strong preference for currency, because it's convenient for them to carry 1,000 naira notes, all right, about, mm. all right, the banking culture will be very poor. They will rather continue to transact by cash, which does not give you all the trail, than to route the transactions to banks. To the banks. So, now, so, and supposing now that 100 naira becomes the highest denomination. What that implies is that there, there, there is a certain limit to which you would even want to, to have cash around you. Imagine the volume of cash that is required to make a payment of 5 million naira. Hmm. In 100 naira, 50 naira, 20 naira, yes, yes. It will be too voluminous. So banking or going to the bank becomes more convenient. Not by compulsion. You just know that this thing is not possible. And again, it will help us fight corruption to a significant level. All these uh, kickbacks and so on and so forth are done in cash. So if you give a contract of one billion and I'm assuming to give a kickback of 30 million, and I, of course, definitely I will want it to pass through my account. If I have to order cash of 30 billion, then you're talking about trailer that will bring the cash. So mm -hmm. if you take out cash, actually, if you take out cash, you would have reduced crime and criminality to at least 80%. You cannot completely eliminate it, but you would have taken off the incentive. So still bringing back, though CBN uh, have just also mentioned that, look, 
we are not going to uh, bring back high volume of 1,500 notes, which would be good. Okay, so if 1,500 notes are not put back in the system, in the same volume they are retrieved, mm. it would be awesome. Okay, so it will reduce it will reduce the um, number of one thousand naira notes in circulation. So that is why um, the central bank governor um, Godwin Emefiele said that um, we're trying to go cashless. Nigeria is trying to become cashless because if if there's um, reduction in these notes, people would actually prefer to go online to make transactions. That's what you're um, trying to say, right? That's very correct, and it's very very correct about that. Too. Okay, so to clarify um, the complaints people have online. Now, people have been complaining about, um, what the notes, about what the notes look like in terms of the color. But um, can you tell us more about like the functionality? Because people are just, I, I saw a video minutes uh, just before coming back on air of how someone doctored the current 200 Naira notes to become the reddish color. Um, what exactly is the, f should we even be looking at what it looks like, the aesthetics compared to the functionality? functionality and I mean um, what exactly do you have to say about that okay thank you very much um, uh, well we are just looking at the, the texture the color currently but you see there are even security features okay that were in the old notes of course which will be um, readable by by some machine okay so but beauty is not part of the qualities of a good model in short, the beauty of the money is in the value. So how this money is designed, the color and um, separation that was done, I think personally that what we then tried to achieve was to reduce the cost of printing by dropping some of the colors. You know, in printing, the more colors you have, the higher will be the cost of printing. Yes. So the features of the old notes were still carried forward to this new note. However, the, the kind of reduce the color. It doesn't make any sense to bring out a glamorous note, very beautiful, very fanciful, and worthless. What is beauty in a worthless note? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. So, what Nigeria should focus on, okay, are those policies that will drive the economy, okay, to improve the value of Naira in exchange with other currencies, and not necessarily how beautiful it looks like. That's not the important thing. Beauty is not, it's not part of the quality of money. So I, I wouldn't be looking for that. Okay, so also people have complained about the short window in their, op their own opinion. They call it a short window. Um, that's um, from October 26th till uh, December 15, before the monies are being disbursed, the new notes are being uh, disbursed. Um, what do you have to say regarding that, that people are complaining? Because some experts have said that it's good that it's not a long period of time so that unscrupulous people do not, you know, begin to think of how to... Uh, make counterfeit notes? Okay, so I, I, I don't think the window is short because uh, the old notes will remain as legal tender till 31st of January. Yes. And so what the CBI is saying, simple, walk into your bank, make lodgement of these old notes. And when you will draw from the ATM or you will, grab, you will draw across the counter, the bank then gives you the new notes. And the reason why the new note was launched yesterday at the 10th and uh, when it was planned uh, the 15th of December was also probably in response to some of those criticisms. And uh, one wonders why you require three months to switch from an old currency to a new currency. You see, for those that are complaining, let me tell you what is going on. Because CBN, too, in the uh, modified the uh, procedures or modality for depositing the old notes and also picking up the new notes have made some remarkable changes. For example, you can only deposit 50 million in your full account per month, which means for the period of three months before the, the old notes uh -huh. are phased out, you would have done a maximum of 450 million. So if you have more than 150 million Naira cash packed somewhere, then you should be investigated for maybe counter-terrorism, sorry, terrorism financing 
Because what do you need that volume of cash for? When you can always withdraw from the bank the, the exact amount you need for any purpose. So, if you open a new account, DGN says you can do 5 million per month. Okay, and all these things will be tracked using your BVN. So, it's not really possible for you to deposit down 15 million in, uh, in an FTM, you go and dump 15 million in GCP. No, it's not going to work out. So, those that have more than 150 million are those that should be troubling their heads. You and I that may have just few of those notes, walk into the bank, pay it into your account. If you do not have a bank account, open a bank account because it's also part of what we want to do as a people to drive economic development. We need All right. To drive what we don't want. All right, sir. Um, can, is, is, it coming, is it coming at a right time now, this redesign? Is it coming at a right time? And I also know that you said um, it's not going to change anything in terms of how the inflation rate is. But in the long run, is there, I mean, would there be respite? I mean, would it improve the uh, inflation rate? Would it, uh, yes, would it drop the inflation rate? And also, is it coming at the right time? This will not drop the inflation rate. Even in the long run? Yeah, it's in the long run, yes, in the long run, it will, because when the banking culture of Nigerians improve, and you have, like, you are able to record, like, 90% of bankable Nigerians, okay, okay, owning bank accounts and transacting to banks, you find that monetary policy will become more potent, become more effective. That is a long run um, uh, uh, strategy in any case. But is it the right time? You know, these things are... Statutory. If this is the mandate given to CDN, okay, and the, the, the composition or the asset of CDN did not stipulate that it must be done either before election, during the election, or whatever. So to CDN, this is the right time. People that say it's not the right time, including myself, including myself, was of the opinion that it is like a distraction. Because CDN should have focused on fighting inflation. We are, we are facing cost push inflation, and they are using the wrong policy measures to fight this inflation. That's why you are seeing escalation. Okay, so who, who was, I was expecting that CBN will focus more on inflation, and maybe just save the withdrawal of the, the, the higher denomination, which is okay, all right, instead of all these dramas and this money that we want to be spent again, we designing these notes at a time when the state government is saying, we are, we, are, we are getting into 2023 with the deficit uh, financing of 10 point, um, 10 point, um, 2 trillion and we're going to borrow 8.8 trillion. So by the time the figure for imprinting this currency into you, then you begin to see what we call the street set of priority. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, sir, for your contribution. Mr. Austin Adigwe, yes, he's a financial expert and a banker. Thank you for being with us today and sharing this insight for Nigerians to better understand the reason for the Naira redesign and the value of the currency. And as he has said, uh, I mean, you've heard it from the expert himself. Please, 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 the Naira redesign, it's not about the beauty of the Naira. It's about the functionality of the note. And as he has said, it said the functionality has been improved. So let's uh, try and spread the message that it's not just about the beauty because a lot of people are uh, online saying several things and we need to be better informed so that we can dispel rumors and uh, misinformation. And that's the much we can take on Morning Delights today. My name is Ibukun Bankole. Please ensure you stay informed all the time. Thanks to everybody that's been a part of the show from Monday till today, the crew, the producer, everyone, and definitely you for joining us and for staying tuned. Join us again on Monday, 9 a.m. Bye-bye.